should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger AM. It's a gold shoe kind of day. I'm going to wear my Jordan 11s um, that I got that we went on their mission for to get and we couldn't find them and then Cass bought them for me online. So I haven't even worn them yet. I've had them for like a week so I thought better wear them in. Anyway, first things first, CLA, L-carnitine on the shreds, um, oats, 80 grams, amino energy, got to set that up and then uh, shooting off to work. Whoa. You know what that means, I just officially ran the engine in properly. So I've only been allowed to take it up to 4,000 revs, but now we can bring her up to 7. 7 o'clock, pre-workout time, having a scoop of Mr. Hyde, scoop of Agmatine, helps with blood flow, more blood equals more revs, which equals bigger muscles. Whack that down, let's get it going. So I'm training solo today. Alex had to go to PT school, but that's all right. I don't mind pumping out a quick hour, hour and 20 minute shoulder session, high intensity supersets, you know how I do. Anyway, I'm gonna knock this back and then I'm gonna get going. All right, just got warmed up, had a little bit of a stretch. I'm gonna be hitting some laterals first. I'm gonna stay pretty light today, I reckon, because my first exercise, really just wanna try and connect with my muscles. And Usually I like to go fairly heavy and get a bit of momentum going, just to hit the muscle good. But today I'm going to restrict the movement a little bit, just focus on squeezing up and then controlling down, and then just really burning it out. So hitting the higher reps, about 15 reps, um, and then after I'll move into doing all my presses and that. So I'll probably do this, rear delts, and then presses and fronts. Um, just because I feel like if you work your rear part of your shoulder, it adds a lot more thickness to your shoulder and the overall look, rather than just having big chunky front delt. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Four sets of that, and as you can see, inside of my delts already filling up with blood pretty good. So, I'm gonna hit some rears now and then move into the press. sets on that. Going to move into doing the cable reverse fly now. Just get a little bit more time under tension and uh, probably shoot for 15 reps again on this one. Feeling pretty good. So sides and rears are starting to pop up and I'll hit the presses later. See I'm getting that sweep around the outside so I'm trying to work on tip is to make sure that you arch your back, look up at the roof almost and draw your elbows up nice and high. Don't pull too low, otherwise you'll just be using your lats and your traps. So make sure that you pull back nice and high, keep the elbows up and also look up. So, 
I've just finished up doing my rear delts, and as you can see, I've worked up proper sweat now. So our joints are warm, feeling pretty good. I'm gonna hit the presses now, behind the necks, as usual. This is a good smith machine, so I can't wait to get into it. Really try and burn this shit out. up a little bit with my hand positionings. I did one a little bit wider, that set, I brought them in a little bit closer just so I can hit a little bit more of the, uh, the centre part of my delt, where I think if you go wider it'll sort of hit the front, but um, yeah that was good, definitely feeling that. Alright so I'm supersetting this with an upright row, now I'm not doing the normal upright rows that I normally do, I'm just doing it with the easy, bed, easy bar curl and really just focusing on keeping that constant tension, not letting the muscle relax. So normally I'll just do it for bar and pull up strong, but today I'm just going real slow, keeping the tension on in that middle part of my delt. sets of dumbbell shrugs. Now having a scoop of cell chem and then my protein shake and then I've got to get to work. Run a little bit behind time today. Oh yeah, meal time. Chicken rice and veg with some sweet chili light sauce. Back on them sugar free sauces. Woo! 2 p.m. Just left work. Pretty tired actually. Been at uh, the gym since 6 a.m. So been on my feet all day but uh, got to go get treatment now. Head to uh, South Yarra, get a massage, some dry needling, loosen up my traps a little bit. Then I'm just stopping into 7 Eleven to get a Pepsi Max real quick. Give myself one Pepsi Max a day. But why not celebrate a long day with a nice cold P Max? 440 mils, it's a big one. Oh, cracker open. So I still got like half an hour to kill before my appointment, and I'm already here, so. I'm gonna go get some sushi from across the road. And even though I'm on a cut, sushi not that bad, you know? I'm only gonna get two rolls, so they're probably about 200 calories each, so about an extra 400 calories. And then I'll just ease off the carbs in my dinner tonight, so. Fit it in, mate. Squish it to make it fit. There's six, thank, thank you. you. Is there soy sauce in there? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, mate. champion. That's all right, keep the change. Yeah, sushi. Spicy tuna and spicy salmon. I've actually never had either of these rolls before. So, ooh, I was like, I've never seen those. Maybe I'll try them. I don't mind a bit of spice. Ooh, so I just left having treatment and damn do I feel good. So I just woke up from a nap. It's like seven o'clock now. And oh, I just got home and I was so tired. I'm like, I have to have a lie down. I'm not gonna go to sleep. Worst idea ever because now it's 7 p.m. and I'm probably not gonna be able to sleep in, what, two and a half hours when I need to go to bed. Cause I've got an early start again tomorrow. But anyway, woke up, I was just zonked, I was out. And I thought, oh, I'm so hungry, I need to eat dinner now. But obviously I'm on a diet, so I was thinking, oh, what's for dinner, chicken salad? I'm like, that's not really that appetizing, you know, is that gonna get me out of bed? No, I'm like, what can I eat? You know, I wanna stick to the diet still. So this is what I've decided on, gonna have a little bit of a treat. Banana, dipped in peanut butter. Natural peanut butter, of course. Extra calories, a little bit more fats, a little bit of carbs too, but not too bad, but you know, still get me going. Just to give me a little bit of energy to do my online work, edit up yesterday's videos, and then I'll probably have my chicken salad later, just before I go to bed. But that's my story. Anyway, 
take home tip, don't have a nap when you get home from work. It's not a good idea. You wake up hangry and you're not going to be able to sleep later. Okay, I'm just about to head to bed, but this is what I've been doing for the last hour and a bit. Just editing up some videos for the Subs R Us website. We're doing a cook-up series and training videos as well. So just quick one minute instructional videos. Like a quick snippet of one of the videos. All right, so that's just a little preview of some of the quick instructional videos that we've got coming. Um, they're going to be put up on the website weekly, so you guys can check it out. They're on the Subs R Us website. I think there's already a couple up already that I've made um, from last week. So have a look. If you like them, use them. If you don't, then just let us know why you didn't like them, and we'll improve them. So yeah, about to head to bed. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you tomorrow.